the challenges ahead are still significant. We need to strengthen our banking system. We should do it well, but we should also not lose time. Europe will also need to pursue its strategy to restore growth and job creation, especially for young people. For example, the single EU patent is about to be completed. Crisis countries can already benefit more easily from structural funds, and the European job search portal is a reality. But of course, more should be done, especially to complete the infrastructure necessary for a functional single market. Before the end of the year, we should define the EU's seven-year budgetary framework, 2014-2020. The future modernized EU budget, though it will remain relatively small as compared to member states' wealth, can stimulate thousands of investments needed to revive growth in Europe by helping it to become more competitive. Competitiveness is key, is key in our next European budget. It is also essential that member states do not only focus on net contributions or return, but also take the broader common European interest into account. To conclude, it is clear that the stakes are high. Europe needs more structural economic growth, more jobs, and we can deliver. But reforms, the necessary reforms, take time and is the highest priority among all European leaders.